loving and eternal God, we come before you with hearts open to your presence and your word. As we gather to explore Matthew chapter 13, verse 44 to 52, we ask for your wisdom and understanding. Open our hearts to receive the message you have for us through this passage. May this reading inspire us to seek and treasure the priceless treasures of your kingdom. Grant us the discernment to recognize the value of your truth and the courage to surrender all for the sake of following you. In your holy name, we pray, amen. Our reading for today from the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 44 to 52. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then, in his joy, went and sold all he had and bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. Once again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake and caught all kinds of fish. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up on the shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in baskets, but threw the bad away. This is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous, and throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all these things? Jesus asked, Yes, they replied. He said to them, Therefore, every teacher of the law who has become a disciple in the kingdom of heaven is like the owner of a house who brings out of his storeroom new treasures as well as old. Heavenly Father, as we reflect on the passage we have just read, we are reminded of the immeasurable value of your kingdom and the treasures it holds. We witness the parables of the hidden treasure and the pearl of great value, highlighting the joy and commitment of those who discover your kingdom. Lord, we confess that at times, we may become distracted by the temporary treasures of this world, forgetting the surpassing worth of your kingdom. We acknowledge the moments when we prioritize worldly possessions and pursuits above seeking your truth. In the midst of life's distractions, we find inspiration in the commitment of the man who joyfully sold all he had to obtain the treasure in the field and the merchant who gave up everything for the pearl of great value. We long to have hearts that treasure your kingdom above all else. Gracious God, we come before you, seeking a deeper understanding of the priceless treasures of your kingdom. We lift up to you our desires and distractions that pull us away from seeking you wholeheartedly. Grant us the wisdom to discern the eternal value of your truth. We pray for hearts that are filled with joy and commitment to follow you with all our being. Help us to be like the man who gladly gave up everything for the hidden treasure, and the merchant who recognized the worth of the pearl. We ask for forgiveness for the times we have neglected your kingdom and sought fulfillment in earthly possessions and pursuits. Fill us with your spirit, Lord, and draw us closer to you, that we may experience the fullness of life found in your presence. We lift up to you those who have yet to discover the treasures of your kingdom. Soften their hearts, Lord, and reveal your truth to them in profound ways. May they find the joy and fulfillment that come from surrendering their lives to you. We pray for a spirit of discernment to recognize the true treasures of your kingdom, not only in the present, but also in the future, when the final separation of the wicked and righteous occurs. May we be found faithful and prepared for that day. May we be faithful stewards of the truths of your kingdom, bringing forth new treasures and old, sharing your timeless wisdom with others. In all things, may our lives be a testimony to the immeasurable value of your kingdom. May we live with hearts that treasure you above all else, experiencing the richness of life found in knowing you. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus, who is the treasure above all treasures. Amen. Gracious and loving God, as we conclude this time of prayer and reflection, we thank you for the powerful message we have received through Matthew chapter 13, verse 44 to 52. May it serve as a reminder of the immeasurable value of your kingdom and the joy of surrendering all for the sake of following you. May we be faithful stewards of the truths of your kingdom, sharing your timeless wisdom with others. In your holy name, we pray, amen.